So here's the thing, walking up all the way up to Castle Neuschwanstein, New Swan Rock, whatever <laughs> the translation would be. And you don't even see the castle because it's so foggy and misty, which is pretty cool, right? I like that. I like that. Nobody has a picture like that because everyone takes photos from that very specific viewpoint. Google Castle Neuschwanstein or uh, Schloss Neuschwanstein. Uh, and you will only find one one perspective. Nobody does that. So cool, right? I just had a really cool, a really great photography moment when I was asked by uh, a lovely Italian tourist lady, uh, not which camera do you use, but which settings. Do you use in in these in these light uh, lighting situations? Um, so that was usually people ask me which camera do you use, right? But she specifically asked which settings, and that's the great thing. And I think that's one of the one of the big lessons that one has or can learn because she had an icon camera, and it doesn't matter which camera you have um, because it's it's about the settings, it's about the type of lens you use, and so we had a nice little chat. Uh, about lenses and aperture and and focal focal lengths and she was uh, pretty happy with my suggestion so what what type of or what sort of settings did I use I have a, a comparatively wide angle lens on my on my camera right now well comparatively it's a super wide angle 10 to 18 millimeter the great thing about foggy days is that the light is really soft so you have no picture we have no pictures at all uh, no no shadows or we have pictures hopefully we have no shadows at all or almost no shadows which gives these photos a really unreal feeling and then we have this layers these layers of uh, especially when we're in the forest um, the thing though is because we don't really have depth in the photo um, the aperture is not really that much of importance because you know uh, very closed aperture a big number gives us a really deep depth of field a small number very wide opening gives us, gives us a very shallow depth of field since we don't really play with depth of field in these types of photos it's not really important but what's important is the so-called sweet spot of our lens especially when you're shooting in a forest with lots of detail even though there was far it was foggy of course there were still a lot of details in my photos the branches etc so i wanted to have my camera at its sharpest with most detail so i used the sweet spot of the lens the sweet spot is the aperture and um, focal length combination so with a with a prime lens it's of course just the aperture with a zoom lens we have to check that with with the appropriate well it's set say steps we can google that of course but we can also simply test that so setting the the, the lens uh, to different focal lengths and then trying different uh, apertures to find out the uh, the sharpest the sharpest combination uh, ideally on the computer when we can really zoom into one to one so 100 percent uh, in my case it's an aperture of 27.1 and I used, uh, I tried ISO 100 and then checked whether I can get a, uh, a, a exposure time that I can still handhold. In my case it was really super simple with ISO 100 and a 50th of a second and 50th of a second is easily handheld with uh, a super wide angle lens like this one at 10 millimeter or even 18 millimeter. So that, that, that wasn't really a problem. So these were uh, the pictures that I made here. Hope you liked them and I hope this helped. There's an easy way to never miss any of my videos and that is simply to subscribe to my channel.